What is going on, people of YouTube and people that want to attempt to get better at Fancy Premier League? My name is Kurt Yo, and by golly, was this week absolutely shocking. Holy moly, was it shocking. Now, first of all, look at my defence. That's what happens when you have a few leaky games in the defence. And now even Chelsea conceded against Newcastle. 2-1, they lost. They lost. They freaking lost. How can you do that to me? I don't know what that accent was. But um, things have got really bad in last week's episodes. Um, or in last week, sorry. In last game week. And it means I haven't really done that well. Also, I had to make all that substitution. I took a risk on Silver being back. But unfortunately, he's been delayed again. So this is a big, big problem for me. But one thing I am sure of is that... I wasn't the only one, because an average of 33 points, I did enough, I hope. But, there are some big, big problems in my team, and I'll go over that now. Looking at this, can you see any problems? I can see a few problems. I want to see if you can see them. Can you see them? Write them in the comments below. Just do it now. Have you written them? You have wrote them? Right, brilliant. There are six different suspensions or injuries in my team. Look at this. I know I'm not usually on this screen, but look at this. What is that? Monstrosity. I have six people out. I'm down to 10th in the league. I feel like I've just been pooped on. By something really, ba really, really bad. And also, there's a few other people that have joined. Unfortunately, there's a few people that have joined that have got more points than me. So now, for me to get into the top half of the table is probably 8th. Uh, it's still Callum Pope, but still. And also, Spencer got over me because of Van Persie doing well and everything. But six players are out! What? How do I get round this? I've got both my goalkeepers out. I've got three midfielders out. What is this? Why? Why is this happening to me? Why? <laughs> but, I'm going to have to try and work around it. I think I might have to sacrifice a few points because of, yeah, I need to. Let's check out the 14th. Our next game is that weekend, but I cannot take any of that. He's suspended for that game, Fabregas, so he can't be playing in this week. Also, Charlie Austin, he cannot play in this week. He was on course to get a decent amount of points. I would have got above the average, but Charlie Austin has not done that. He lost himself sent off. So what do I do now? He's also gone. I've also got Elliot back, 21st. And you got Crawl back, 26th. This has really screwed me over. Royally, royally fucked me. But, with the luck that I have, I have confidence, at least, a little bit of confidence, that Silver and Demir will be back. So I only have four injuries. So for now, I believe I'm just going to make one change. And that one change is maybe going to have to be the goalkeeper. Although, looking at that, Newcastle, they've got Arsenal, they've got Arsenal, so it's, it's, it's a tough one for me, but look at these transfers, I was always going to make a few transfers anyway, I'm not sure whether I can afford them, but we will still have a look at that, basically, one player I want to get rid of is Silver, and one player I want to get in is Downing, Downing is having a sensational season with West Ham playing in the, um, playing in the middle, and I think he's a player you definitely want to get on your team. However, it's going to be tough because I get rid of him, bring Downing in, got 3.2 extra million. The one player I would want to get rid of is Iose, which gives me 8 million to spend for the forwards, and we'll cap that on 8.3. And that gives us no one. You get Welbeck, but no. There's no one on that 8 million mark that I would want. Jovetic, maybe, but I can't afford him. Definitely can't afford him. Pele? One million more. One million, or one, 0 0.1 million more, I should say. Which is heart-wrenching. It is really, really heart-wrenching. But that means, what am I going to do now? Bring back Iozzi. Leave him in there. I'm going to look at my defenders. Why am I looking at my defenders, you ask? Because I want to get rid of Ashley Williams. 
why would I want to get rid of Ashley Williams? Because I believe Wisdom. That's not the player I was looking for before. But no, he plays for West Brom. I can't have that. One player though I was looking at, which is definitely something that I'd consider. I feel like I'm going to burp, I'm sorry in advance. I did. Is Dummit. Dummit is a good player. But recently he hasn't been because of, of course, conceding goals. I feel like he could be a good player. Another one is Colocini. But Colocini has, um, well, been injured a bit, not played. Also, you've got to look at their next games. That'll be my three Newcastle players, all in the defence. So if Newcastle have a bad game, I have a goalkeeper and a defender, both having a bad game. All I need to do, though, is get 5 million or below. 5 million or below. So that allows me to go on 5.3. Unfortunately, again, there's not really anyone there that catches my eye as think, oh, I'll grab him. One player you could say is Eric Dier, but who still has him? He has one good game against Palace. Now everyone's going to put him back in. What's the reason he's in there? Look at all those results. M2. Just saying. And I'm really getting off the point here. But I do want to have a look at a few other defenders from different teams lower down. The simple fact, they're going to get points because they're always making tackles. Hopefully, the odd clean sheet they get will help because they won't probably be my first team. I might maybe move towards three at the back. Now, add a little bit of extra firepower up front. So where am I going to go with this? I think there's only one way I have to go. And it would be West Ham. Because Winston Reid, I think, is a quality player. But unfortunately, West Ham have been shocking in defence recently in this season. We've got two in clean sheets. No, sorry, three in clean sheets. And he didn't play for that one. That's why. Never mind. But uh, it is tough. It is very tough. And I would say maybe Alderweireld, but just not sure. You got to look at the next fixtures coming up, which is Burnley, Everton at home, and Palace. Which is where I might go, to be honest. I'm going to go with Alderweireld. For simple fact, I think. I haven't really got a tough team coming up, but I hope that um, that's the most of their... Um, although, saying that though, that means that... Um, oh, this is tough now. This is very tough. Oops, I didn't mean that. Right, so, what do I do now? This is very, 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 very confusing. Can I put Trippier in? No, not really. He's only got one, one good game that got him in most of his points. We get a Palace defender in. Could have got Hutton in, but he's already in my team. I'm not sure, really, what I'm going to do here. I would like to think I could take a risk and get it to pay off. I don't think I've got the manpower to do that. But I think Villa at home, QPR away, and Man City at home. I think Craig Dawson is probably the person who's going to come in. She does 3.6 million. I think that is enough. That's 8.4. That is enough to bring us in a Graziana Pella. Now, I would want to get Bonnie in, but Pella, back on scoring form. Did against Manchester United. Looking at his recent games, very, very poor. Very, very poor. And, um, yeah, next few games, Burnley, Everton, Palace, all games where you can get goals in, all games you get assists in. I hope Graziana Pella is the player to do it. And now, that's it. I'm minusing eight points for my total for the simple fact I need players that can get points now. I haven't took... As many injured players out because I think they're all key. And I think especially the two goalkeepers, I can't remove them. So I'm bringing players in that will hopefully in the next games get me points. West Ham got Sunderland away, definitely something Stuart Downing to capitalise on. Craig Dawson, Aston Villa at home, probably going to be a nil-nil, hopefully going to be a nil-nil. Hutton and Dawson then will both get me a decent amount of points. And also Graziana Pella, hopefully will get a goal against Burnley because they've not been the best in the defence. And also the big thing with this team now is I've got a variety of different players I've got Southampton attack I've got West Ham coming in I've got um, West Brom coming in so if one team has a bad game it's not going to affect as many players because I've got rid of one Swansea brought in West Ham got rid of a City brought in um, um, West Brom I should have said the other way around so I've also got in another Southampton player for another Newcastle player I couldn't have actually brought in that because I had a Yosi in my team but never mind thank you guys for watching I'm going to make these transfers this week will probably not be the highest scoring week, but I'm hoping of the players that I have, that like eight points, yep, that's short, 
the next week will hopefully will be a week where I get the players to recover. So um, I say Austin and Fabregas I'm going to miss anyway. Di Maria uh, will hopefully be back. So that means that I'll have at least a team of 10 players with, uh, without a goalkeeper. I might keep Elliot in just in case because, you know, players do that. Players do what players want to do. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you've liked this video, remember to leave a like. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you feel like I'm worthy. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Well, you know what you should be doing. You should be subscribing. You know what? I'm keeping this one. You should be subscribing to Kurt Yo because he's a legend. And this took two takes and I still got it wrong.